Welcome back to our channel. Glad to have you again. Today we have a special treat for you. It's just a simple homemade candy with condensed milk. So I'm going to show this to you. This is a can of condensed milk. Make sure it's actually condensed milk and not the light brand. So we have the condensed milk here. It goes with, a, with just one stick butter and a little bit of nutmeg. So we're going to come over here. I'm heating up the pot right now. It has to be real hot before you put the butter in it. So I'm gonna start because the frying pan is a little bit warm. So I'm gonna start by putting the butter in and show you how it's done. It's very easy. Condensed milk can also be used for baking as long as you can make candies and other sweets for different occasions. So we're gonna start by putting in the butter, just one stick butter for four cans of condensed milk. You want that butter taste because when you're mixing it in, it doesn't get too hard. You have to stir it. When you put in the, the condensed milk, we'll start stirring it. And what you want to see, you want to you want the condensed milk to turn brown, golden brown. Because when it's turned to that color, that's easy for you to mend it, put it to where you want to put it, and have that homemade candy. It's very easy, very delicious. So just follow through. I'm going to start right now. As the butter is melting, I'm going to put the condensed milk in one by one. Because you want that, you don't want them all at once, you just put in one, one at a time. So I'm gonna start by putting it in. Look at why the butter is melting. I'm gonna pour one in here. Okay. Here we go. This is the first one. Make sure the heat is not too high because if it burns, you won't get the taste that you need for the homemade candy. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. Okay, it's hot enough. I'm gonna put a second can in here. And make sure it's not the light condensed milk flavor because the light flavor wouldn't taste really real really good. You wouldn't want that light taste. It's like the fat, it's like fat-free milk, stuff like that. And you wouldn't want that taste. It's just the original condensed milk flavor that you want. So I'm gonna put it in here. Make sure all is put in and then this is the last can over here. Okay. While the butter is on the side, and now the butter is in here, it's all mixed in. Okay. What I'm going to do next is to add the nutmeg. The nutmeg gives you a very, very good flavor. So if you follow this recipe, it's very easy. The nutmeg gives you a very good taste and a very good flavor. So I'm just going to a little bit in here. Okay. This should be good enough for four kids. Okay. Put it back now. Put it here. And now that the butter is melting all the way, we start stirring. But make like I said, make sure the milk turns brown. That's the color when it turns golden brown. And what and the next thing we need to do while you're mixing this this condensed milk into the candy form make sure you don't leave your kitchen if you leave that kitchen it tends to burn real fast so you have to stay in to continue turning because you want it to turn brown when it's brown it's easy to mend it you can put it in a different in, in different forms that you want but today i'm going to put it in a round like a candy form you will see it so I'm going, to, I'm going to continue mixing it here until it turns brown. As you can see, it's bubbling. It's turning brown a little bit because it, it, it's, it's getting thick right now. So we have to keep stirring because if you don't, if you don't continue this, it's going to really burn and the taste will just fade away. All right, we are we've reached our miracle. It's golden brown, like I said. 
consistency um, the consistency it doesn't come out if it doesn't come out the spoon it means it's time so what i'm going to do before i transfer it i will just spray down the parsley sheet okay comes out easy turn this off Start, I'm gonna give my hand a little wash before I do this. In one minute. Okay, I'm gonna dry myself. It's gonna be hot, so be careful. What I'm gonna do also make sure you spray your hands. Because your hand needs a lot of work right now. Rub it in. I'll be using um, I'll be using this spoon for us to you want because you want the same size. It might not be exact, but at least almost the same size. So I'm gonna be just pick it up. Make a ball. See that? Make a ball, put it over here. Make sure you almost have the same size. Put it up. Make another ball, put it in here. Just continue this process. Okay, okay. Your hands, um, the, the butter must start to loosen up. You feel that heat? Give it another spray, rub it in, go back in. Okay. Give it a little turn. Just want to get that ball, that little shape. Do it again. Comes off easy when you're using um, the butter like this. Your hands, your hand will get hot a lot. So keep this close. This is my need as well when it starts to cool off. Give it another turn. There you go. You can do any shape you want, but this is easier because it's very hot. This is easier for getting this. Oops. Okay. Give it here. Give it another spray. Your hand won't get hot. <laughs> Trust me. It's candy and homemade. So you expect that to happen. Give it another turn, put it in. It goes fast. Don't worry about it. Good. Okay, we're done. We're done with the, um, the homemade candy. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it in the, roll it into the, candy wrappers, okay? Just a plain candy wrappers. You can use any candy wrapper you want. Okay. Now they're cool. Just gonna put it in here. Roll it through. Look like regular candy. doing is rolling it in like the candy you will find on the market stand. So I'm doing. You can do this for maybe a home, uh, maybe a, an occasion. Could be for graduation, maybe um, baby shower. You can choose the type of candy wrap that you want that suits the occasion. This is just a plain one that I'm using. But make sure it cools down first. Because you don't want it, you don't want it like sticking onto the candy wrapper. There you go. Put the out of here. Do it again. Candy is cool, so it's easy to get it done. Just turn it over. Turn it here, turn it over here. And there you go. See, it's hard. That's how you want it. 
cold and it gets very hard to turn it in. Look at the candy wrappers. Doesn't it look real, real professional? <laughs> it doesn't look one day homemade, right? It looks real professional. Sorry. Turn it in. How are you doing? Same as anything else. Turn the bottom. Turn the top. You got the candy. Okay, we're almost done here. This is the last three we got. Okay. We got one more here. Just continue the process to uh, nothing different from the other ones. There we go. And this is my final wrap. Okay, bottom and top, that's it. Simple. Okay. We are done. Doesn't it look beautiful? It smells good in here. This is a candy house for, day, for today. <laughs> anyway, I hope um, you guys had a good time. Thanks for hanging out with us. And I hope you try this easy, easy homemade candy made with condensed milk and nutmeg, one stick of um, butter, unsalted butter. So here you are, give it a try. It's easy, it doesn't take a lot of time. So until then, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, we will all appreciate it. Until the next recording, it's Goodbye for now.